Renwick Wa Chenyuka, he is the Export Promotion Officer at ZimTrade. Renwick, thank you for joining us and welcome. Thank you very much. How are you? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Renwick. So let's talk about um, the amazing things that you do at ZimTrade. Tell us more about some of the services that ZimTrade offers. Okay, thank you. Um, ZimTrade is the National Trade Development and Promotion Organization in Zimbabwe. Our main mandate basically is to promote Zimbabwean products uh, in the export markets. So for us to be able to do that, we do that through offering four main or key services, which are the, the first service uh, market intelligence, uh, which is providing basic information on potential markets, um, what is required for companies to uh, take advantage of the potential markets that exist uh, in foreign markets as well as uh, conducting market surveys um, to identify opportunities in target markets. So these market uh, surveys will be disseminated to companies with potential to export uh, the products. Then the second service is on capacity development. So we identify companies that uh, have got potential to export, uh, be it uh, the ones that are already exporting, or the ones that are not exporting but have got capacity. So we assisted them, all the companies, uh, to be able to be at a level where they start um, exporting their products. Then um, for us to be able to assist them to start exporting, we offer them um, to participate in different export promotional programs, which is another service that we offer to the market. So by export promotional uh, programs, we facilitate companies uh, to participate, be it in trade fairs, uh, outward missions, inward buyer missions and then we also facilitate a b2b matchmaking of companies where we identify potential buyers of zimbabwean products uh, from foreign markets then we match make them or we link them up with local companies that they can start doing business with then the fourth function uh, which is mainly on advocacy which looks at the internal uh, dynamics in the economy where we assist um, companies uh, to create the right platform in terms of the ease of doing business uh, in the economy uh, just to assist and facilitate to make things easier for them to start exporting, be it uh, documentation simplification, uh, logistical issues, and so on. So in a nutshell, I can say this is ZimTrade and this is uh, what we do. Mm, mm, certainly a mouthful there, and it's amazing of the wonderful things um, that initiatives that you've set up for the advancement of the Zimbabwean e economy. Now, let's talk about um, the mining sector. What are some of the offerings that ZimTrade have for the mining sector, especially in the region? What can we expect from uh, ZimTrade? Thank you. Uh, we work with um, companies from across all sectors of the economy in Zimbabwe, and the uh, mining sector is one of the uh, key industries in Zimbabwe in terms of supplying uh, mining supplies. So our companies in that sector are well known for supplying a diverse range of products, uh, which includes uh, your rollers, uh, the crushers, uh, flotation cells, gear drives, uh, the grinder mills, uh, material handling feeders. Then we also include other products like your electrical equipment and consumables, which includes uh, transformers, electric motors, batteries. And then apart from the hardcore uh, mining consumables, we also have got supporting services like your protective clothing, and other personal protective equipment and chemicals. Then um, we are also very heavy on the typical services that are used in the mining sector, uh, which then include your uh, boiler makers, management advisory services, be it legal, mining, marketing, banking, mining consultants, 
and environmental management. So our um, local industry is very diverse and wide, and we call upon all the other uh, potential partners from the region and beyond to look up to Zimbabwe. We have got what you need. Mm, mm, certainly amazing. So as Zimbabwe, what would you say is your competitive advantage when it comes to supplying goods and services in the mining sector? And which are the key African mining destinations that your organization is focused on? Okay. Um, if you look at our positioning on the African map, we, we are centrally located uh, within the Southern Africa. Um, the ends, uh, we are linked to um, most of the African uh, countries uh, by distance. Uh, that gives us an advantage in that we are closer to all the other countries that are surrounding us. So we have got a distance advantage. Uh, that is the first competitive advantage that we have uh, for us to be able to supply uh, the key mining uh, provinces within the regions, which is mainly your Zambia and DRC, which have got some of the largest mining operations in the region, of which we are already servicing those markets. But uh, there is opportunity for us to do more in that market. Then um, we are also targeting markets like your Angola, Mozambique and Botswana, which we are supplying at the moment, a bit at very uh, minimum. So we're looking forward to escalating our products in that market. And um, if you look at um, the other competitive advantage that we have within the region is our products are now well known in that market is highly uh, durable and they are high quality products uh, such that some of the mining companies that we have been supplying for five, five or more years they are now accustomed to our products and we are looking forward to expanding uh, to other countries within the continent. Uh, our hope is that we are going to be leveraging on the recently launched African Continental Free Trade Agreement, which then offers us preferential treatment uh, to expand our markets beyond the Southern Africa into the greater EAC, um, and other co continents as well. Uh, recently, we launched the 12 billion mining dollar economy, uh, which we are supposed to achieve by 2023. And most of the services that we are going to drive the growth are going to be supplied by local companies, which speaks volumes of our capacity and the skills that we have. So there are a lot of opportunities uh, for potential buyers uh, from uh, our potential markets uh, to partner with us and build local synergies with our local companies as we seek to expand our markets. So Renwick, now that you talk about some of the activities that you are looking forward to, especially with the uh, African Continental Free Trade Agreement, many opportunities can come out from there. But thus far, what has ZimTrade done? What are some of the activities that you've done to, ex to assist Zimbabwean companies when it comes to exports? We have done a lot um, from the services that we have already spoken about. Um, I'll talk about um, what we have done uh, from on each service. In terms of um, export capacity development, we have got incubation programs that we're targeting mostly our SMEs and uh, upcoming uh, industries. So we have got different programs under that, uh, that, that category where we have got uh, the Eagles Nest, for example, which is an in youth incubation program and the she next the exporter which uh, is targeting the female owned businesses so with those we identify companies that have got potential to go into the export market and we have got different services that we offer to to nurture them which include among them uh, training we do technical intervention programs and so on then we have also done a lot, especially on the export promotional side, uh, particularly focusing on the market mining sector. We have facilitated um, local companies to participate in trade fairs, which have got a particular fo focus towards mining. Uh, in DRC, we speak about the DRC Mining Week, and then we have also done outward uh, seller mission 
to Kinshasa. We have done um, trade fairs in Zambia, uh, focusing on the Copper Belt area. We have also done some trade fairs and missions to Botswana and Mozambique. So these are some of the activities that we are doing to assist the mining sector to penetrate the ex export market. And we are also in the process of matchmaking uh, some of the potential buyers that we have identified during our market intelligence activities with mm. potential exporters from Zimbabwe. Let's now talk to our potential buyers. Um, Zim Trade's potential buyers. Tell them why should mine, why should they consider engaging with uh, Zim Trade? What is the value, the, the key value that you, um, the key and main value that Zim Trade will offer to to potential buyers or mining companies? Well, the the main values that we offer, we, we we're promising our potential buyers is number one, you get um, access to high quality and durable products from Zimbabwe, uh, which are coming at a very competitive price, given our centrality in terms of our location. Geographically, we are land linked in Africa, and we form part of the corridors that are very critical for logistical purposes. So in terms of the delivery times, you also get um, shorter delivery times when you are getting things from Zimbabwe because of its centrality. Then we're looking at, um, in terms of the uh, skills that we have, we have got the right skills uh, for Africa. Uh, we understand the terrain. We are also one of the uh, mining giants in Africa, and we have got the necessary skills. If you're looking at our human capital uh, development, we are ranked as one of the highly educated people within the, the continent. So we have got the necessary skills that you want. We have got the capacity to supply on the international market, and we have got the right products and the quality that is required. So we are a key partner in terms of mining development in Africa. Absolutely. And so finally, how can buyers get access to Zimbabwean companies in the mining sector? What are the channels that they can um, embark on to get access? Um, the COVID-19 pandemic have made us to think um, differently in how we do business. So we have developed an online portal, uh, which is Shop at Zim, uh, which is currently being upgraded. So we encourage our buyers to be on the platform uh, to identify potential uh, suppliers of their products. And I also need to highlight that our offices are always open and um, they can also contact directly with us. We will link them with our with our suppliers, with their potential suppliers. So we're not talking only of the mining supplies. We also have got capacity in other supporting services uh, for the mining sector. I understand uh, most of the mining uh, companies in, in the region, they run um, different programs, social welfare programs, be it schools, uh, supporting agriculture sector and so on. So we have got all those products and we encourage our potential buyers to get in contact with us or to visit our website uh, www.shopedzim.co.za. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for 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 that cue there, um, Renwick. Um, um, for all your mining consumables, those are your rollers, as you've heard Renwick say, your crushers, uh, material handling feeders, uh, boiler makers. Um, make sure to contact uh, Zim Trade. Um, Renwick, there you mentioned that you boast of being highly competitive. Your prices are highly competitive. You also said that because you are land linked in Africa, this makes it easier for you to um, channel your exports. So, to our listeners and viewers, if if you are watching and you are in need of exports, make sure to contact Zim Trade. Renwick, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. 
That was Renwick Wachenyuka. He is the Export Promotion Officer at ZoomTrade. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, bye-bye.